after like what nine hours driving we made it to our Airbnb Oh my god, freshly baked bread. Yes, thanks. Oh my god, it's so cute! <laughs> Guys, get out. Oh my god. No way. So I found this place on Airbnb. It's called the Hawthorne Hill Bed and Breakfast. I'll link it in the description box below. But guys, it's so country and rustic and cute. So bougie in a country way. It's so fun. I love it. So if you walk out here, there's like a little sitting area, a barbecue, a fire. If you walk down, look, it's an outdoor bathroom. Guys, get out. <laughs> How cute! Oh my god, it is so precious. Hi, Baba. <laughs> Hi, it's Hi, gorgeous. Hi, Hi, baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> we went to Woolies, and we're having pizza. <laughs> Me and my best friend. Everybody, happy Wednesday. It is so cold outside. But look at the little cockatoos. The Airbnb host said that he put sunflower seeds in there. So they're having their breakfast. Then all the cows and the horses are awake. I think we're gonna make a cuppa, have some brekkie, and then drive an hour and 45 minutes down to Grenfell. So it is a little chilly out here this morning, but we thought it was too beautiful not to sit out and eat our brekkie. At Hawthorne Hill Airbnb, they actually do like a little handmade brekkie. So they made us some birch and muesli. They gave us yogurt and some fruit as well. So it's super cute. So cute. And we get to have breakfast with all the farm animals. And Megan. <laughs> the muesli tastes so good. So it's got rolled oats, apple juice, cinnamon, nutmeg, coconut. There's also some dried cranberries in there. I feel like there's some apple and some nuts of some kind in there as well. I'm usually bacon and eggs girl but this is like... We've just gotten changed and we're gonna go down and feed the cows and the horses. I'm gonna cut up an apple because apparently Jared, the Highland cow, loves apples. Look it's growing an apple. Can you see it? <laughs> Seriously recommend you guys making the trip out here to Millthorpe because this Airbnb is absolutely amazing. We were going to head straight out to one of the other painted silos at Grenfell, but we've just spent like the past hour patting the horses and the cows and feeding them. And the host of the Airbnb came down yesterday and gave us some hay 
They also provide you with carrots and apples because the cows apparently love pears and apples. The horses ate the carrot. You guys have to come. It's just like they make you feel so at home here. So instead of quitting my job and traveling, I'm gonna buy a farm. We decided we are going to head to Grenfell, but we were just up patting little week old chickies and one duck. <laughs> and the host, Sean, he has just been absolutely amazing. He said that we need to go into Millthorpe and have a look around. So I think we should do that first. And we'll go from there. Let's see how many potholes we can hit. We saw a sign that said Windmill Farm. Of course, we had to turn off from the road and have a quick look. And it's actually like situated on Caracal Dam. I don't know. Am I special because stuff like this makes me happy? Big old Windmill Farm. There's like heaps of them. And they're working on that end one. Back on the road. hour and a half of driving we made it to the silos at Grenfell. So these silos were first constructed in 1917 and were finished in 1918. So the reason these ones were actually built was because in 1916 there was a huge amount of grain that accumulated during the war and it was all lost to either like poor weather, rodents. So the New South Wales government decided they needed to do something and fast. So they proposed the construction of 139 silos to store all the grain in. So that's why these were built. Out of the three we've seen this has been like the best information center so it's really cool to see the history and like where it all started and they've got a little book that you can actually like open up and sign The artist used 180 litres of paint, another 800 spray cans to finish it off. If you guys ever find yourself down near Orange, Bathurst, I highly suggest coming along to this cute little town and checking it out. Crazy to think that over a hundred years ago, these were going up to be used by everyone in the town and now we just get to come and look how pretty they are. <laughs> We've just gotten back to the Airbnb. Mama Megan's packing the dishes away. Oh, it's three o'clock, we haven't had lunch. So we got a pizza to go into the oven. We're also gonna make a uh, cheese board thing, so. Yep, that's life. Also, team jats, but they didn't have any. Clicks. Oh wait, they are jats. You know, the hard ones. Guys, we're getting rid of Megan. <laughs> Sounds funny. <laughs> I literally said, no, he hugs the guy at the back. <laughs> Guys, it's currently quarter past eight. Wednesday, the 12th of October. Megan and I just called a random tattoo shop that's 15 minutes 
down the road at Blaney. We're booked in to get tattoos tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> we both have tattoos, so it's gonna be fine. It is just really spur of the moment. We know that tattoo artists book out like five to six weeks in advance. So I just called this tattoo company at quarter past eight. I was like, oh, do you have walk-ins? And he goes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow at 8.30. Yep. <laughs> We're doing it. Good morning, everybody. It's tattoo day. <laughs> We're just making some breakfast. We've got bacon and eggs. We already packed up last night. It looks a little bit bogan, a little bit rustic. What do you think? That's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're in a bit of a rush, so I'm gonna eat this and cool. We've just left Millport and we're heading to Blaney to get our dad out. Your fourth, my third. Yeah, my fourth, Megan's third. Are you scared? I'll get <laughs> yourself. <laughs> but super excited. We're getting, no matter what, no matter where, because we've been best friends for 20 years. 20 years stuck with us. All through preschool, all through kindergarten, all through primary school, all through high school. I'm Five still years later. Stuck with her. <laughs> She's still clinging somehow. <laughs> By the way, I know I said it yesterday, but you guys have to go and stay at Hawthorne Hill Airbnb. It was seriously just so amazing. And I'm so glad the air conditioner works because it's cold. We had it on the whole entire time. The whole time. On 28. Because it's freezing. And it's what? October? Yeah, and not once like you go hot. No. In there. No. Yes, we did it. We did it. <laughs> I'll show you closer up soon, but we need to go pay. <laughs> or we could just run away. You guys need to do your own research, obviously. We just jumped the gun and went for the first one that answered our <laughs> phone call. He told me he had um, he had a booking last night that cancelled on him and then he's like, oh. And then his next appointment today was 11. So when we caught up, he was so excited. That <laughs> oh, really? We, that we um, wanted to book in. That's why he was so shocked. That's so cute. Yeah, he sounded, he sounded shocked on the phone. So we were like, is this going to be okay? No, I'm absolutely stoked that we did it. So... If you guys are ever passing through the town of Blaney and <laughs> you want to be spontaneous and get a tattoo, Gold Rush Collective Tattoo. Thanks Maddie for an awesome holiday. These last couple of days have been like the best days ever. Thank you for being my best friend. I love you. We just stopped in at the Twin Servos. We're about half an hour away from Newcastle and we got some chicken nuggies <laughs> and Craig no shirt. <laughs> Woo! We're about 15 minutes away from home so we thought we would say goodbye to you guys. Thank you for coming along on our spontaneous trip.